Hmm, plus de câlin, le gros. Time to break my game of six? Yeah. But that would require me to sit. Let me, let me stretch real quick. We got this. Oh, one second. Big fan of Dark Embrace. Love that. Oh wait, Chris, you blocked Silom? Are we? Do we have division in our chat? Is there a division among us? How did I miss this? And what happened? This fight, I think I'm setting the record for the longest this fight's ever taken, by the way. Someone keep track. That took how many turns? At least seven turns too many. Corruption Dark Embrace already. <sighs> Are you trying to make me get crazy? Corruption Dark Embrace already? But it's only floor four. Who cares, Jeremy? You do it. You do it, you don't look back. Okay. R.I.P. For them. Hopefully. Alright, Corruption Dark Embrace. I'm down. I really do love Cor Corruption Dark Embrace. <laughs> I should probably just strike, strike there, but Cor Dark Embrace is gonna clog up my draws a little bit. Clog up my draws? Uh, we could do armament corruption now. I could do armament corruption now. It's not getting crazy. I mean, corruption armor is not bad though, because we look, we have the right embrace, so it's just just finish the fight, get through the whole deck, get all the defense. Floor five. <laughs> Man, I got to pull out all the tricks for this floor 5 draw worm. I'm telling you what, we set a record on the last last fight. Keep counting, guys. We're setting a record for this fight as well. Yeah, that was me just uh, getting through all my defense just so I can survive a turn. What the hell is going on in this run? Can you help me out? Jesus Christ. 
Okay. This public news is fantastic. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great cards. Solid cards. Oh my yes. I'm going for it. Go for the sparkle. Holy fuck, can you quit yelling at me? Oh. Silent look, Silent can be kind of a little Silent sometimes is a little bit of a He's Silent. He's a good guy though. If you guys should reconcile. But I understand if you need a break. I mean, I'm hoping we can draw all four defense. I'm hoping we don't draw four defense and spot weakness. Guys, here's hoping we don't draw four defense and spot weakness. Can we can we get a can we get a praise RNG? Thank you. Okay, cool. It's a little early to be praising RNG, but you know twin strike is pretty good. For spot weakness. Mm, Dark Embrace is gonna have to wait. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do artifact for the vulnerable, we're gonna do spot weakness. Artifact for the vulnerable. Bash him up. I'm gonna have three strength. I'm gonna armaments, I think. Eh, for Lux and Lee, but. Okay, if I do armaments now and then I play corruption, we don't get the strike out, which I wanna get out because he's vulnerable, but if, then if I get the corruption now with Dark Embrace, maybe we can play all our defense. Like, let's say we have a bad draw, we can play all our defense and still strike him for a whole bunch of crap. It's dubious. I'm doing this. I am thinking about Corruption. But I'm also hoping that we get just our Twin Strike. There it is. Ah, wow, now that is Armaments again. Okay. Not too bad. We have Region Pot, so this is actually totally fine. So Spot Weakness is making this 24 damage. That's problematic, because he has 25 life. Okay. So let's say we do just strike, strike, and defend. Or let's say we just defend, defend, right? Because he's dead next turn, no matter what. So we defend, defend. No harm, no foul. I mean, it hurts, but we have region power, right? All right. Anger, Whirlwind, Clash. Whirlwind's pretty good. AoE. Good way to dump our strength. Anger's a good way to utilize corruption and the spot weakness strength. Anger's very good for that reason as well. You know, corruption, anger, dark embrace, shenanigans. On the tail end of your spot weakness, you can just get rid of your skills and also do anger, but I think Whirlwind's... Probably the pick because we need AoE. Sharon's Ashes. Oh wow, we got a combo going. Sharon's Ashes. Okay, now that's even more powerful. I can see myself resting just once and then go for another elite after we use the region pot. So this is going to do. Hmm. These guys are hurting, but we'll persevere. I didn't get region brought out. Ooh, limit break. It's interesting. That's an evolve. That's a limit break. Hmm. I'm gonna reach about this fight. The shop is gonna save us from dying in the elite fight. Okay. The reach about can help us as well. I'm from here, baby. Got a shot into an elite into 
beautiful act too, hopefully. Deck's awesome. I want to get region. I want to get that last tick of region. To me, it's relevant. So I'm going to do this. Another spot weakness. Oh my god. Holy crap. So spot weakness, spot weakness, limit break. It feels weird, but I mean, like I can guarantee we get limit break strength going. True is very nice because it gives block, thins out the deck for potentially limit break, where we can do limit break multiple times. And then also works with Charon's Ashes. Also works with Dark Embrace. Hmm. Both interesting considerations. This will guarantee, or at least help guarantee that I get strength going. This has block and thinny potential which if i upgrade divot break i want to go for the recursion of the break kind of stuff that would be kind of nice not here I'm not kind of set on that yet what if double spot weakness is better it's kind of ludicrous maybe i should short some of my defense right here a courier as well wow that's a demon form the battle trance is Lantern, that's a chemical X. The whirlwind, I still think chemical X is not worth it until we can buy transmutation, then it's worth it. No, I think we do battle trance. We are, we're happy with lantern as well. I'm happy with lantern battle trance here. Now, there's merit for removing a strike, make the deck more. No, I think lantern battle trance is the play here. Team Forbes on sale for 70. That's tempting. But not really. It's redundant with spot weakness limit break. It's redundant. I like the I like the battle trains answer here. I feel good about that. The demon form is not necessary. It's you kind of set it and forget it. It's a little bit more consistent. Like you don't have to worry about spot weakness procs. Since right now limit break is only dependent on spot weakness. Limit break I and mean, demon form is another way to get it. And if we get energy relic, we're probably pretty set. I think for me it's the Battle Trench Lantern. Oh, Havoc's interesting now. Havoc is setting up Dark Embrace card draw and Sharon's Ashes stuff. Thinning out the deck. Potentially asking for a headbutt. I'm a huge fan of Havoc, especially when Dark Embrace is in the deck. But I think Lantern's very strong. But do I want to spend 137 for Lantern? Havoc's very good. I'm a very big fan of Havoc. Gets higher the value of this gets better and better as the run goes on. I do Lantern. Tintin Puzzle was fantastic as well. I'm, back, I'm kind of a little bummed out we saw Tintin Puzzle. Put that out of the way. Beautiful. Oh, Charon's Ashes, you son of a gun. Okay. That's not too bad. I just want Trugit to hit in a break. I'm lucky boy. That was really risky. Do not recommend that at home. But now we get spot weakness guaranteed. And this is just fantastic for us. Now we play limit break. To be honest, I feel like doing corruption now. Maybe just... Yeah, corruption now is kind of good. Is it too early? I don't think so. Cause then we can like get the value from Charon's Ashes and then we can also just get out Spot Weakness, Limit Break, Shenanigans. <sighs> so much for Dark Embrace. Well, that was awkward. And now we just win here. Cool. That's fun. I like that. Threading needle, wow, shrug it off, wow, Jesus Christ, oh my god, okay, I'll do this, just get out of the way, this is the run, this run is fantastic, this run is fantastic, this turn, not so much, this turn, not so much, Let 
This turn, not so much. Alright, so... For all the good the deck is doing... The steaming pile of crap of first two turns, three turns. Alright. Now, if I could have guaranteed spot weakness, then that would have all worth it, but I didn't even get spot weakness, so... The guys... I'm not going to spot weakness again, and he's attacking me next turn. Does he need 9 block? Does, he, does the block scale? Hope the block doesn't scale. I think it's 9 block still. I'm really hoping the block doesn't scale. Oh, we're good. Alright, we're fine then. Now we just get spot weakness, and we just win. We look for armaments here. Oh my god. The call out? Did, did it break upgrade? Snazzy. I'm, I'm okay with getting rid of this. For now. Okay, cool. This guy's a little bit here. I'll put corruption towards it very soon. I want to use five or limit break here. Put corruption now. Give me now. Uh, I could. Swing strike is probably better. My goal is to do twin strike here. Holy crap. Okay. Feed is very good. And Juggernaut is very good. Offering is very good. Now Juggernaut is a little bit more troll and probably less of the good. Like feed and offering are most likely the picks. Now we can go full craziness into Juggernaut, but no, I think when we have the brick scaling, we already have all this stuff going on. Juggernaut, we can put it on the back burner. I mean, it's very strong. It does start adding up, especially once you get the dark. Once you get the corruption, dark embrace out. Add that to turn's ashes. You can do some good bursts, but I'd rather just maybe do feed for max HP or offering. Offering is trying to promise you to get a bigger armaments and also get your spot weakness going. So offering helps you ensure that you get spot weakness to hit, and then once you get that hit, then the deck kind of comes together because we have limit break, we have you know whirlwind, twin strike, hopefully a reaper. But feed is uh, very powerful. And I might just go for the feed. Ashes, uh, ashes. Whenever you uh, exhaust the card, you deal three damage to all enemies. What's up, Aubrey? Audrey? How you doing? You didn't realize I was streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming. How you doing, buddy? What's up, Break Linen? What's up? Uh, Mm, they're both very good, guys. Offering. Offering. Mm, I'm going for feed. Sugar's gonna mess us up, isn't it? Sugar's gonna mess us up, isn't it? With corruption, dark embrace in the deck. Sugar's gonna mess us up. Maybe we just do corruption, dark embrace just to have the ability to play defense and strikes with. Like to do my offense with all the energy I want to do it with, but also have the ability to kind of thin out the deck and do some extra AOE and some extra stuff. Like the choker might mess us up, but maybe we can actually forego an energy relic for this one. So Lizard Tail just feels bad though to take. Take Calling Bell. Calling Bell often bites you in the butt. And we could argue we have True Grit. We have some strong cards that we can maybe get away with doing Calling Bell. But it's not that's, that's not okay to say it's fine because of Exhaust, because it doesn't work that way. It's like, you're still going to draw into a curse, like three other curses into your deck, and then you have to have True Grit on that turn, hopefully, to exhaust it. Let's hope it's not like two curses and like some other garbage and take 20,000 damage to the face. And then not only are you wasting a turn to True Grit the curse, even if, even if you want to attack, but then you have three energy and you have bad draws. Pretty bad. 
Ah, uh, Choker's unfortunate, but necessary. Pretty bad. Calling boss pretty bad. I say this from experience, guys. I've, I've pleased the people too much. Pause on my statement. And, um, <laughs> Calling Bell proves to be a Steven Pile most of the time. pay for it to get feed right now. Hmm. What would I pay for for feed right now? 22? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? You're telling me this is not gonna kill him? Which means when I have to shuffle back, I'm probably not gonna get feed. Oh, we have to hope for the best, I guess. Well, for the best. Feed, I trust you. Feed. I'm trusting feed here. I'm trusting feed. Woo! Never doubted it. That's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. My anger's really nice. But maybe not so much with Choker, and I was thinking maybe Anger, you know, start dumping. No, Anger's not. It's, we're past that phase. Flex, Iron Wave. Iron Wave's not bad. Dumps the strength and blocks. And if we do Corruption and we end up wanting to maybe get some blocks, we do Iron Wave. I think Iron Wave's fine. But at the same time, I want to keep the deck small because I want to draw into this whole thing right here that's going on. I want to have this be drawn into ASAP, particularly the spot weakness. Ooh, Calibers are doing nice. Evolve. Dark Shackles. Dark Shackles are very strong. For the heart, for execute, if we get to that phase, it's not going to get to that phase. Just, I like Warcry a lot as well, but Warcry, Choker, things trying to get a little awkward. It's a very good card, though. If only for a turn to just mitigate damage on a single target and potentially do AoE and potentially draw a card. Well, do AoE for sure, but potentially draw a card and just maybe take no damage that turn. I think it's very powerful. For 73 gold, am I willing to spend on that? What what would I... I could also save my gold, right? It's like, it's, it's an investment. I'm going to remove for sure, but I'm think. Oh, I don't have gold for both. Of course, that's 150. Now that I see nice and small, I like the way this is working. I like the way this is happening. Okay. And one thing we need is like maybe like maybe an inflame or a relic. A relic that uh gives us strength to start with. Reaper would be fantastic. I should play, I should be playing corruption. I, I'm, I'm not playing corruption. I don't really have time there, but so here is. If I play corruption, maybe I could have gotten the feed. Ooh, this could be really interesting. Sixteen, sorry, thirty-two, twenty-two. 54, 54 plus 24 is 78. Armor summer 2, close in for the weaken. Uh, I would like to have the ability to weaken. I think close is nice to weaken. And you know, worst case scenario, we get the weaken and then we exhaust it. I think having the ability to weaken is, is important. It's a two-cost card. It's a little awkward. It sucks that this is my only form of weekend. 
There's also Uppercut and Shockwave. Maybe I can hold out for Shockwave and maybe not do that. I like it. And if, I, if I feel like it, I can always remove it. Right, so I think I just Dragon Rage Corruption now, don't I? Because the AoEs in the fight seem to be massive. Should I not do Dragon Rage Corruption now? That's going to be a lot with Sharon's Ashes in this fight. Alright, the alternative is like... I do this, and then this, and then that, and then when we get corruption, we'll, we'll, we'll just finish off the fight with corruption. So this is 24 damage. It's not enough. Maybe it's worth it to do it now, though. Get a rest in. I think I'm gonna do minute break. That guy's dead. Or true grip. Now, maybe I don't want to take all that damage because I think the fight's gonna be over very soon, so I'm not gonna take any extra damage. Unfortunately, um, Choker. Feed got was very successful there. Sober Ring dumps the strength. Anger, Iron Wave. Sober Ring is another card, but we already have Twin Strike Whirlwind. I'm gonna keep the deck small. Close downs are already awkward. So for me, it's important that I get Feed upgraded, I think, or Spot Weakness. One of these has to be upgraded. Or maybe Dark Embrace. Dark Embrace is easier to play right away without having to depend on armaments, although battle turns upgrades aren't bad either, so we can do find armaments and find better armaments turns. So it's between Dark Embrace, Battle Trains, Feed. Dark Embrace is not an important upgrade just yet, because in hallway fights, I don't need that recursion. Like, just, just once is enough. I think Feed, because I want to make sure this is upgraded always, and then we also need to do um, maybe Battle Trains next. Corruption now? I don't want. I don't want to waste feed here. Corruption now. Corruption now. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe corruption now, huh? There's one point that we get dark embrace actually. I guess it was a dude's true grand corruption actually. Eh, I think dark embrace is gonna do really well for this fight. Because Dark Embrace is going to give us the... Ch We're going to have Sharon Charges from the, the days, but then Dark Embrace can give us card draw. Which means the Dark Embrace does deserve an upgrade. I didn't get feed yet, right? Uh, it's important that I get feed. But if I'm trying to get feed here, I'm taking a lot of damage. Okay, that's not too much damage. Two damage is not a lot of damage. I'm over exaggerating. Okay. Another shrug, ghostly. I guess he knows shrug. Blood pot. I wish I could just drink this right now, huh? Alright, so here's for me it's important that I get maybe spot weakness upgrade or the Dark Embrace, because Dark Embrace is pretty important to get played. In my opinion. For halt for the champ fight we want to get limit break before the champ fight. Maybe do a limit break now? No no no. So this is gonna be Gremlin Leader. Yeah, I think Dark Embrace.
I want to do corruption now. Aoe's gonna manage these guys. I don't. I don't want to fully commit just yet. Okay, we're not gonna hold on to feed though for this fight, unfortunately. So we're already at 99. I could kill that little minion. I could kill the minion. The minion's gonna die incidentally anyways from once I get spot weakness. It's important that somebody's attacking me next turn, please. Yikes. I want to weaken him, because then I also want this minion to die, so we'll just do this. Spot weakness? Hmm. That timing. It's pretty bad. Not getting any strength is really bad. It's really bad for us. I might have to do corruption. I might have to do corruption. I wanted limit break, but okay, how much is he doing? So that's where Choker messes us up. That would have been a really good turn. We do need Heba, of course. No doubt. It's very important. Skip. Okay. Well, another thing that's important is battle trans, right? So battle trans helps manage that. Now, do we feel we're healthy enough for this another elite without resting? I think so. Um. Yeah. Battle trans, and then we need to also upgrade the spell weakness. I would say. So there's also a fine line because you don't want to, um... I can imagine Corruption's okay for this fight, to be honest. I should be just doing Corruption, I think. Because it takes away this knuckle problem. close. I don't want to take damage. I don't want to take damage. But maybe this damage is not that significant. I can just like... Uh, but I, my goal is to get back into feed, so... If I don't do Twin Strike, then I can get back into feed, no problem. So I can imagine this is okay. Because if I'm being greedy for feed, which I want to be. Okay, easy, perfect fight. That's why corruption is very strong. Headbutt, headbutt is very strong. Headbutt is very strong, and we're at 103 HP. This deck is going very well. Headbutt is very strong. We can just use headbutt recursion on limit break for the um, champ. Now, do I prioritize an event, or do we want to do another fight? Let's go for this. Use Thorn Bot here. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Power through double tap. Poof. Poof. I probably should have, before I did that, should have drawn first. Maybe double tap clothesline was a play. I wonder if I should do a traffic boot here. I don't know why I'm worried about him more than anything else.
scary. Not, not a bad turn. Only problem here. Don't get to Dark Embrace. It's a pretty good turn for us, though. That Dark Embrace out the end of Corruption is probably okay. I wonder if we're okay by just doing this now. Maybe if I had Dark Embrace out, it would have been much better. Now all these wounds mess me up. I could headbutt something, right? Nah. The weaken is pretty important, I would say. And I would just win with... Did we waste feed already? We haven't wasted feed? We got 107 max HP. Shockwave is pretty good. Rest our butt. Oh my god. Okay. Thirty six. Eh, could be better, right? Kills the guy in the back. So does that. What is that? Try to get feet here. I'm trying to get feed right now. Easy. Very successful for our feeds, right? 111 max HP. Now we could probably do the double. We could probably do trip double knob, but let me think. I mean, double knob. We need to get a spot weakness off soon. And if we get this spot weakness off soon, and then we can just do the whole limit break shenanigans, then we can go ahead and do whirlwind to win. But I think there's too much of a window for us to die. Now we can rest against the champ. But the champ fight, I think we got this no problem. I say no problem. I'm pretty sure no problem. The champ fight. So I'm going to upgrade limit break. Mm, I will upgrade limit break. I think we got this no problem. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think we got this no problem. I'm curious what Tropic Blue is giving us. Just do it now. Should we do it now? Just to see what we get. I'm, I'm not using Potion for this fight, though. I'm hoping... See, Spot Weakness is so hard to get on this guy. That's the one problem, though, Spot Weakness. I guarantee that. Like, That is a problem. And then maybe you want some Trugit down your defense, but we also want to keep defense just in case things get hairy. Like, this is, I don't want to trigger any of these things. This is pretty good because it looks like I might be getting spot weakness on turn he's attacking, which I think is happening right now. Very nice. Now, what we can do is headbutt the armaments and upgrade the spot weakness to get even more strength gain. That seems kind of. Mm. So I can just headbutt limit break. And just get that going now. And yes, we're taking damage, but. We have some life to give. And now we seem to like do a break a couple times and then just win. I don't even want to do bash. Like, I don't want to do bash. But we'll do damage sometimes, right? It's important that he stays weakened though. Uh, we can start doing damage though, we're, we're getting a decent amount of strength, and he is getting kind of strong. We seem weaken though. We can still take this damage, it's fine. But, it's getting less and less fine. And we're totally fine actually. 
I can get rid of my weakness now. Weaken him. Okay. We can do corruption now. It's probably time to do corruption because he's it's, it's probably and we can do corruption now. I have to say, and then we can just finish the fight thereafter. Like once we do corruption, we get through, get rid of some of the skills, and then we just have like another limit break proc plus bash twin strike. We win. So I can just do corruption now. That is a headbutt coming up for the limit break. So, ideally, I would hit. No. Ideally, I do battle trance. No. Ideally, I do this. Hit headbutt, headbutt, the armaments, then use limit break, then twin strike, right? But, okay. Uh, this is probably more complicated than it needs to be. So, it's gonna get down to. Okay. I don't want to get rid of all my defense just yet. I can imagine if I was just passing here. I don't want to do battle trench just yet. Gonna start going though. So we're gonna do. How close are we to feed? 90, 90. It's so funny. If I get limit break, I can do limit break feed, but I, I can't do it that this turn. So it looks like we're not gonna get feed. We're so close to it too though. Actually, I can let the fight go to. Um, I can do battle turns if I get feed. I could probably get feed here. This first. I could get feed here. And even on the bosses, we're feeding the. Okay. So, offering is very good. Offering helps guarantee we're getting spot weakness when we need it. Also, just helps get everything going. Double tap. Okay, not necessary. I think offering is a play. Plus the crown, we can take. Ooh, Runic Pyramid. Wait a second. Runic Pyramid means we can hold on to spot weakness from when we need it. Hold on to the break from when we need it. And when things are right, we do Dark and Bridge Corruption shenanigans. Now, is that going to be problematic? Because we like the ability to the ability to cycle. I mean, Runic Pyramid is very interesting because I can do things like Limit Break Headbutt, Limit Break much easier. And then when things are necessary, we can dump everything. So crown ends up being weird because, guys, we have chokers. So yes, I have five energy, but okay. So the crown means I'll probably get bigger limp, uh, whirlwinds. So five energy with, with chokers. Eh. The real problem with running pyramids is, is am, am I gonna filter through cards enough? Well, the thing is, a lot of the cards I hear are like not, there's not a lot of fluff. Like last time there was like perfected strike and strikes we didn't want to play, but here we want to like hold on, we want to find swap just for when we can play, it, and then we also want to play like we also start true getting some strikes and stuff like that. I can imagine this is pretty good, the but yeah, I think we're pretty good here. Let me just double check. Yeah, I like it. What am I doing for Christmas? Not much, man. And like I said, I was saying, not since I don't live with my family over here in California, <clears throat> I don't really do celebrate Christmas stuff. We, can, we, can, we don't need to go for all these elites, but I think we can manage elites and be totally fine. Why not just make the deck as strong as possible? So it allows us to hold on to corruption so we can actually like get corruption at the perfect time. I think 
to be honest. I'm very happy with that choice. We can, do, we can get feed, and guarantees feed, even more feed, even though our feeds are out of control as it is. So here we're gonna try to, we're gonna definitely use feed. And then, there we go. Feed baby, let's go. Feed's gonna be massive. Thunderclaps does a vulnerable AoE, which works well with Whirlwind. It also gets rid of artifacts. Do we care about getting rid of artifacts? Maybe against... No. I'm fine. Lose headbutt, lose corruption. Ay ay ay. I don't want to lose corruption. I like corruption here. That's cool, same here. I'm different. I'm going to get Subnautica. Ah, though I'm not decided yet. I think... Wait, isn't it like unsafe or like free to play now? I don't want to lose any of this, but headbutt we can probably easier, easily replace. Oh yeah, I'll get it, dude. If it's free, I'll get it. I, just, I hope I have time to play Subnautica, but yeah. I would definitely, um, if it's free, I totally check that out. Even if it wasn't free, I'll check it out, but... That's awkward. You can play Zoro with... Actually, you can play Zoro for zero, so it doesn't clog you up. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Skip, skip, skip. I gotta use the bathroom, boys. Ooh, Vajra means I don't have to depend on spot weakness and I can get started sooner. Um, Frozen Eye is not bad either, but probably not the play. Vajra is interesting. I'll be right back, boys. That is interesting. You guys both said. It's funny that you guys both said, like, free into the, I think. You guys both are not sure. And it's a little Boston Terrier. He looks a little rabbit, though. He's cute. Um, so I was saying we use Vajra to get Limit Break going sooner, but how relevant is the ability to do from, like, 1 to 2 strength and not the dependence about weakness? You know, in uh, Act 4 Elite, Act 4 Elite, that little moment of time where you can get Limit Break going and maybe, like, that could be relevant. I think Havoc's very nice. I'm a huge fan of Havoc to to play cards and to do things with Dark Embrace and stuff. Only problem is I wish I, I want to get like a, like two headbutts. If you hit them and break with negative two strength, you get minus two. I I think so. It is reached twenty seventh. So should I just go download it now so I don't lose? I, I won't forget. If anything, guys in Discord, let me know. Don't let me forget. Subnautica so not a guys free twenty seventh. Epic Game Store. There we go, baby. Epic Game Store. That's what's, that's what's going on. Epic is taking over the world. I can remove another strike and make the deck even smaller. Take another strike. Mmm. An alternative is to save my money for the another shop. I was going to go for multiple elites. So maybe we save our gold here. I'm not too keen on Vajra. Blind? I like. I like blind. Just, I like blind. The bomb? No thank you. With the bomb? The dramatic entrance is interesting. So this could be an AoE for zero, but nah, it's, it's not that great. Bomb? No, no thank you. I like blind though. What's the dog doing? What do you mean? Underneath the covers, look. Look, he goes underneath the covers. Guys, he's the cutest thing. He's sleeping on the covers. He's so cute. I can li I can li I can oh, lift up the covers, you can see his little face peeking. Mm. 
We're going for a lot of leads here. I'm gonna go for feed on this man. Yeah, yeah, what's up guys? Everybody who's lurking. Good to have you guys here tonight. You guys are having a great night. Great evening, wherever. I think Chrissy just woke up. Chrissy is uh, like 10 a.m. over there. I never understand that time. Okay. We have no headbutts anymore, guys. So that makes my recursion of the... Let me break. A little bit more awkward. A lot more painful. So fights like this are much harder when I don't have headbutt, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Offering's also pretty bad in Rune Pyramid. I should have maybe thought about that. So now we have a lot of damage, right? So I'm thinking we do Corruption at this point. for a big feed now this guy was painful because we had no headbutt so the feed's gonna be nice look we have life to give oh champion bus quite nice oh okay scene red can allow me to play that's bad with choker can't take that not even considering that dual wields not even a consideration either because like dual wield dragon brace would be too much dual wield metallicize is not something i want to do maybe dual wield metallicize like maybe now we start taking hades was never free nah but Hades is going to get better and better, man. It's by, um... So whenever you apply Vulnerable, you also apply Weaken. But I have a Blind Plus that I put into the deck. Um, Hades is going to get better and better, and it's by a good company, Super Giant, so... And maybe just wait for an update, and you, you if you like those kind of games. So we're going to dump more of our strength. I'm thinking, like, Dragon Brace Metallicus could be a thing. I know, Choker's are messing us up. I know Burmering scales greatly, but we already have Twin Strike that we're using that to dump, and also we have uh, Whirlwind. So I was thinking I just use Twin Strike to dump, but I have another card that dumps, and then not the end of the world. The problem is I don't want to clog my hands. There's Fortnite, Zywear, Kappa, Lol, um, Omega Lol. Yes, there's Fortnite. And there's other things too. They're also like they've added some other things. I haven't been keeping track. Of, keeping track. I wonder if dual wield metallic says for extra block is something we'll ever consider though. So then once we get rid of everything, we still have passive block. Uh, I think, if, well it's also already upgraded to a ring. Hmm. I can imagine that being okay, but I need to, um, Sapphire Key, right? And I also need to recall. And I'm thinking about hitting the shop here. I was going to go for multiple elites, but if I take multiple elites, I feel like I should start resting because we don't have headbutt, guys. And that sucks. No headbutt feels bad. But resting does feel kind of, mm. So if we rest, then we have Sephiroth Key, then we recall. Yeah, Aedes is amazing art. Hmm. Deck's kind of awkward sometimes. Super Meat Bars for free? Nice. Yeah, that's great, great deals, man. Holiday deals. Okay. If we go for double elite, because we want to hit the shop, I, I'd be better off getting the campfire so I can maybe rest and then recall. By going for double elite, then I'm a little unhealthy. 
I don't get the shop. I can go for the shop and then rest, recall, right? We figured, okay, we have good relics. We don't necessarily need to hit these elites. But I also feel like the deck's kind of strong. Without headbutt, it does feel worse. Rest now. Three Sapphire Key now. That feels bad. Such life. And then we go ahead and maybe go for the event. Now I want to find Headbutt. But I want to avoid this guy. So head, uh, <laughs> event would have been nice. Okay, got rid of Bash. I was letting Headbutt back. It was actually so important. See, here we just relax. I don't want to get a... S okay, that's fine. I don't want to get cursed. Uh, I was actually kind of dangerous because I didn't have enough energy for another strike. Hmm. Raise the Headbutt Gods. I'm scared. Please don't get cursed. Nice. I want to play whirlwind for zero, just because I don't want it to clog up my hands. I want to play this. See now our cards are getting clogged up, only because I don't want to. Dump my strength on this guy. Ah, uh, yeah, at least. Nice, no curse. Okay. Limit break. Twin strike is. It's a feat. A lot of max HP. This P pot is very good. You can see Pummel being pretty good as well to dump our strength. Almost probably like a massive blow, but now nah, we don't need that. But speed pot, I could probably take over poison pot, right? Gene Ted, no, we're gonna apply for partners soon though, because I just wanted to make sure I was, because I took a little hiatus and I was, I was grinding for partnership, and then I took a hiatus, so I didn't want that to affect my partnership thing. So we have been grinding a little bit recently. I think it's around a good time to reapply. Should be fine. Okay, speed pot over attack pot. Sure. If you get some artifacts, I can see this being okay. We also have entropic brew. Poison pot seems pretty bad. Maybe that also gets rid of artifacts, right? Okay. Oh, shit. This is a good time to do offering. First time it's ever been used. Yo, thank you so much. S silly cycle. Thank you for the first time, man. Welcome to the germ pool. Oh, this is awkward. This guy's doing significant damage. Okay, it's not significant, but. to get feet. Jesus Christ, all these cards. Get them out of the way. Get them out of here. I have to get them to break into feed. It's a, my, these elites are kind of a joke, though. Oh, this works, right? Okay. More max HP. War paint, not bad. Skip. Okay. So, we were going to talk about hitting the shot because we want to find Headbutt, right? Whew. Okay, so just... Thinking ahead is not bad, right? No, we really want his Headbutt. Cards like this is not that great with, um... So, Chaos, did you see... Chaos, did you see my last uh, Hades stream where I beat it with the... Spear and we had a, a legendary support fire. We had a legendary boon with the spear and we beat so now the only thing we have to beat is the the bow. 
Yeah, we could do some Hades. We could finish with the bow. So we beat the game of everything but the bow. So we could do the bow. Uh, the problem with Hades is that I feel like it's gotten a little easy. It's not, it's not that... I mean, it's a good game, but I mean, I've just... I've beat it so much already that I have a lot of darkness and everything's kind of... I'm just waiting for new content, basically. I can imagine steroid pot actually might be relevant to hold onto for the heart or act for elite just to get the strength going quicker. So I can imagine buying a steroid pot right now in place of a attack pot. Or maybe even smoke bomb. Like, I don't think... I don't think I'm doing smoke bomb here. So we buy steroid pot. Just so we have that on the back burner for quick limit break scaling. We can move another strike. Mm, I think we gave her smoke bomb some steroid pot, yeah. It's a cheaper one. That's come on, chip me. We're safe for the next shop and the next elite next act. I might just stay up by here. Cause this fight's kind of annoying. Two attack pot. Uh, I don't mind Carnage because Carnage can get rid of itself. I should probably use the defend, but I also want to maybe hold on to it just in case. Yeah, the server would have been nice to hold on once you get the break on. So Serapai would have been, like this is a turn where, if this was like another fight, like let's say Act 4 Elite, Serapai would have been played first turn. I think Corruption's not bad here, right? Don't get as much scaling, but perfect. Cause I want to get that on the spot weakness. So now I just want to get feed, and then we're good. Okay, it allows some max HP. So far, my clay is very strong. Exhum is not bad for limit break. With Exhum, we can do limit break. After corruption, and do Exhum. That's pretty nice. Um, Can I just get headbutt though? Headbutt like is really I think headbutt is so important right now. Blind. Blind's actually very awkward. I just realized blind is very awkward. Cause I have shockwave. Now, I mean it's just blind is nice if I want to like to have artifacts, but I don't know. I think I should pick this and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. I should have held on to armaments for the spot weakness, right? And maybe only three fours that mixing nine circles of hell with Greek Thor. What do you mean by that cast? Hmm. 
Should I have done corruption here? I feel like I should have. So I didn't want to take damage, and now I'm taking damage. Oh well. I mean, I could, I could avoid damage by doing this. I'm never getting feet on this guy. Just hold into world for next turn. Feet is just never happening on this guy. And his whirlwind next turn. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. Flex is not wait, Flex is not bad with limit break plus, but it's too late now. Okay, I almost almost forgot to recall. Alright. No headbutt for us, boys. It's a feels bad. I don't want to do Seraphite for this fight, but I, I wonder if there's gonna be a fight where I Seraphite is gonna be necessary, right? Like this is a pretty painful turn actually. Painful turn. I want to get this out of the way. It leaves me with less stuff to play. Do we care about painful turns? No, as long as we just survive this fight and the next fight. I don't care for painful turns necessarily. But that is pretty painful. Probably get. Mm. I have a lot of life to give though. Come on, it's about weakness. Mm. Mm, so I don't want to lose Maybe we don't care about getting feed on this guy Like yes I could get feed And that would be A lot of max speed going to the heart Alright we'll get rid of this I want to free up space I don't want to get rid of uh, I'll get rid of feed Change my mind Oh, he's attacking quite significantly. Oh. Ow. I wasn't good track of that. Okay. Owie, owie. No help for us, boys. I want that out of this cycle. Remember, it's a little bit awkward. Okay. Need true grit, I suppose. Imagine I start doing corruption now. Probably not. I definitely don't want to have him. Oh, Choker, you son of a gun. Please don't attack me next turn. Please don't attack me. Not like this. I have lethal next turn. I have lethal next turn.
Bash. I underestimate I overestimate my damage. Whoops. <sighs> Whoops. Wait, now I'm stupid because I should uh, I should have proxed him now, so then what I could have done was uh, just feed and actually get some life back, but this is fine. Just roll one win next turn. I'm not playing this, I didn't play this super well. I could proc him and get feed, but this is fine. Is that not even lethal? That's not even lethal? Yikes. That's not even lethal. Wow. They would probably make it lethal, but it's okay. Because at least now we do that. We're not worried, right? We have 12 cards to play here. We're only six. We only six cards to play. Okay. Now he's not bashed. We don't have them break. I can only personally play six cards. He's attacking. So if I do weaken, how much is he attacking for? If I weaken him, he's like only 30 damage. Can we check? I want to get feed just to get some life back. I feel like I needed to feed now just to get life back. That's and feed is lethal, right? One, two, three. Wait, does this stop me from feed against my hand because it draws a card? Please don't tell me it stops feed from getting my hand, right? Okay. <sighs> wow, so much damage! My God. I gotta do something. I guess I gotta look for artifact pot. Barricade demon form. Demon form barricade. Same barrier. Then break. Should we do battle chance first? No Reaper either. Well, let me say that I think feed into whirlwind is going to be have to be like oh, sorry offering into whirlwind is going to be the play. That has to be the play. I assume that's going to be. Okay.
What am I? What am I? Uh, what am I triggering here? The bash. I know what we're doing. Six. Thirty-six. Are we trying to do offering? Is that something we want to do? So if that's the case, I should see, I leave myself with some HP. Because I had a different game plan, which is going to be... Let me break. I was going to do Shockwave, but maybe just do Zoom Limit Break right now. And then next turn, Limit Whirlwind. If I do the, if I do clothesline, I don't take as much damage, which means I can potentially do offering limit break whirlwind. If I just do limit break now, I'm gonna be at 64. This is guaranteed lethal, so I don't. But maybe I just want to prevent damage. We have guaranteed damage. We have guaranteed lethal. I probably want to maybe do feed again. I want to do feed again. So let's. So feed is 80. Okay, more feed. All right, act four shop. Holy crap! Okay. 147 life. That's a lot. We seen. I don't have a steroid pot anymore, which is probably going to be pretty relevant. So we need to make sure, like, upgrading here. We need. Man, what we needed. So that's that's pretty significant, right? That's like 31 HP difference versus I guess seems pretty significant, but we need headbutt. We need cerebral maybe. Funeral pain. Funeral pain. Bottle Ouch. tornado. Funeral pain is very good. Yo, Jared Vlad, thank you for the tier and welcome. Reaper would be great as well. We have courier. Bottle tornado on. Funeral Pain could be interesting. Because then if we do Corruption Dark Embrace, then we also get a lot of block. Um, this arm is very nice. We only have so much money. And I think, okay, Funeral Pain I can buy. I want to buy a potion, but I'm hoping that I get like a pot underneath. Removing doesn't seem like the play. Like, I could remove a strike. Okay, if you remove a strike, we want, we want to make sure we get spot weakness as soon as possible. And then we do Limit Break, Shenanigans, and just do, like a massive Whirlwind or something. This arm is very strong against the heart, yes. Now, <clears throat> Swing Stone is not bad. I think we want to buy a potion and try to look for... Well, maybe I'm actually going to buy take Flex this time. Because we can use Flex for Limit Break to get it going quicker. Although, I think we do Potion. Let me just double check. We're moving a Strike. Wouldn't be bad. But, okay, let's do this. Maybe get like... That's pretty significant. That's how much... It's only, it's only 14. Okay. Doesn't really scale up that well. Okay. Maybe flex is what I need, though, because I can use flex to make sure the limit break gets scaling going. And since we have met, uh, Murray Pyramid, flex is not as bad. Now, we definitely, like, we passed up a flex plus, but I'll just, I'll just take anything at this point because I just want to make sure I get the limit break going. And we have no headbutt. Shrug. Ah, flex. Flex means that I can start getting my limit break scaling potentially without having to wait for the heart to attack me. I think since we're waiting for the heart to attack us, I think we're going to be screwed. 15 HP is pretty good. 15 HP. For 58 gold is not bad yet. It's, it's something. There's also just another plated armor, just do massive plated armor, but that's probably not at the same value as 15 HP. Weak plus not bad either. Yeah, we already have blind plus and shockwave. But yeah, maybe just to guarantee the weaken. I don't, I don't see this not, not, not bad. More skills for corruption, dragon base stuff. Uh -oh. 
1600 is good, yeah. 1600 plate armor is good, but it, the problem with that is it diminishes. And it's still good. I would have loved silver plot. I'm gonna think we'll, we'll do this. Just hope part of the cards here. Run up here, my man messed me up here. Okay, we got this. Uh, I want to get this out of the way. Maybe I should do battle trains first. Funeral pain is very good. Oh, well, that's the spot weakness. The spot weakness is exactly what we want to see. Um, I want to do funeral pain, but I also maybe want to defend so I don't lose as much plated armor. I'll do that. If we defend, we don't lose much plated armor. And it also opens up if they give up, if they drop a potion at the end of the fight, then it's not bad. Uh, okay, we'll do that. Okay. Ooh, if we just can limit break scaling, they're they're very vulnerable right now. We can make him bash. I think it's important we get dark embrace corruption now. Actually, there's the corruption. We can go here and start prioritizing damage, or we want to just fully block. Uh, we want to see as many cards as possible, right? All right, we'll try to block as much as we can. And wait for dark. We'll wait for the limit break to start coming out. There's limit break. Oh, I forgot we have negative strength because of these game guys. So we limit break. We can also do like corruption limit break, exhum limit break. But that's not that great. What if we do corruption now, though? Do I do that? Do I do like corruption limit break, exhum limit break, and then attack this guy's right block block? Maybe we'd rather do limit break right now. If we're not planning to attack. These are not upgraded. They, they could get a lot more value if they're upgraded. The blind's nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna disarm. These all could be upgraded, but I think I'm gonna disarm and then go and make this guy my target. That twin strike is probably something I wanted to hold on to when I have Olympic scaled up. So now we have limit break, but we're probably hoping for a spot weakness first. This is a little bit Monka S. Because if I'm going to dump Shore Boomerang, I want to definitely dump it once the limit break scaled up. Do we not try to get feet here? We can do something twice. I can just use this now, I suppose. Doesn't feel good. Yeah, I'd make it was a must. Eh. This would be a bad turn though. I need, I need to free up something so I, I get it rid of feed. It draws itself. Hmm. I guess this is the play. Because we've drawn into Whirlwind. Since we've drawn into Whirlwind, we can potentially do offering Whirlwind. Once we get strength. If we can get strength. First by weakness, okay. It's better than nothing. So now we do limit break. Well, I don't have to commit just yet. How much damage are they doing? Sugar's annoying. Maybe we can win next turn. I believe we can win next turn with ex exhume limit break into massive whirlwinds. Is that enough? Exhumed limb break? So how much is this? It's quite a lot, right? But this guy on the right, maybe it would be better if I do like... Twin strike first. And then maybe do like whirlwind after. And then we try to do feed on this guy. And then we go into the heart with a lot of life. 
Okay, bottle lightning. Bottle lightning on the spout. Uh, spout is not good because. Well, yes, but Valentine just has five weeks in my hands. And then next time we get it. Okay, so we'll do that. Oh, no, Disarm's not bad either, though. Ooh, Bottle Lightning and Disarm's not bad for multi-hit. Ah, uh, that's not bad. Bottle Lightning for Disarm. Sabi is good, but maybe Disarm's better to get out of the way first. Spot weakness means I don't have to dig through my deck so much that I can get the strength scaling going. Don't we have no head, but this helps me. Heart move negative strength. Not initially. Not a, not no 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 not initially. But I think guaranteed we get our scaling is not bad. Hmm. I wonder if there's ever like consideration about using this now or later. Like if we could maybe save it till after the multi-hit, that would be better. Using it here is not bad. This is a terrible turn. I mean this is what it is. I can do this now, it's fine. It's 2 times 15, 3 times 15. So that is disarm, but we want to try to maybe find armaments. You said he's gonna remove this? You said he's gonna remove this disarm after this buff? You saying Chrissy? On turn 4? So I should wait till after this fight, after this moment. Alright, so should we do. I want to get Funeral Pain upgraded as well, though, that's the problem. Can't, how greedy can I be? That's the thing. Can I be greedy for Funeral Pain upgrade or Disarm upgrade? Probably not. Probably not. Doing 45. Okay. We're losing some plated armor here, though. Okay. I want to just get out of the psych, get out of the hands, but then I'm gonna take how much damage is he doing exactly? Let's take a look. 39, 42. So that would, doing this would make me take lose one more plated armor. Is that? Oh, we also have three block here. We have four block here. Okay. Some of this stuff, though. Get rid of this now. So now, so now it's hard to do this arm because of the. Uh... We can do shockwave again, so we can get this arm here. So we can do like exhume shockwave and then disarm. But then I want to hold the exhum because I want to have the potential to do exhum, uh, like limit break, exhum, limit break. But if I do exhum now, then we can disarm and not take any damage here. So maybe that's relevant. All this so I can get disarm after the buff, but I will hope for the best. And I'm gonna do, I think I'll do offering now just so I can get, maybe like played once, and maybe do like the, oof, my hand's so full, this is awful. Winter Pyramid's hurting me here. How relevant was it to prevent that damage? I mean, is that going against my overall game plan? 
So Spapagus is not coming anytime soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. Hmm. There's spot weakness, but it's a little too late, right? At some point we gotta do corruption. We're also not doing enough damage. Like we have to do damage now. So I think maybe I can do I can do like a bash twin strike. Just to get some damage in. I could do offering to do like strike short boomerang, but then it clogs up my hands. Unfortunately. So here we're looking at 45. We could do corruption now. I want to wait a little bit. And break again. So we're taking lots of damage here. But I'm thinking... Could do limit break offering... No. Corruption would have been nice to get black. I think we do corruption next turn. So we're going to do... Limit break. Yeah, Trogger's gonna mess us up, but it is what it is. This is applying too weak versus giving me three rid of three block, and also I can use that for corruption, which means we yeah we're gonna have less block, less cards drawn, but whatever. I changed my plated armor for some stuff from clay, so we're pretty good on block for this turn. I think what we want to do is maybe get corruption out though. At this point. I'm gonna start doing damage. I think we want to get rid of the feed. Potentially. Yes. So we can do one more defense. Limit break, boys. I want to save all my block for the trains attacking, but I also want to get limit break now and start doing bash open rank stuff. I don't want to lose this block, but we're getting close to lethal now. Yikes. Maybe let's do Bash Open Ring now. We have a lot of life to give up, I suppose. We can start doing, like, it's also an offering whirlwind play. So if we do this, it's probably just sufficient. And then what we want to set up maybe is a offering whirlwind win. So we take this hit here, and then we do offering whirlwind to win. Actually, the bronze skills counts for this turn, right? So, hmm, let me see. Oh wait, but, but if I just wait a second, if I just do damage now and then the first two hits, he kills himself. Am I mistaken? So the first. First, like four hits, my bad. First three hits. 77 life to repair. Easy. Not bad. We want to do more. See, that was actually interesting because, I mean, we got rid of our head, but headbutt would have helped immensely, but we had 15 plated armor, or 16. It's nice. That's nice. I like the way it worked out. It's fun. He felt totally manageable. We had a very good deck. He felt very manageable though. We had a lot of tools for it, right? This arm after the buff is very manageable. Potions helped a lot. Potion buff was amazing. And we have, yeah, Metallic has as well. So we had like 16 plus 3. Yep, and the self-reliant clay was nice.